Lesson number 30, Copyright. By the end of this lesson, you should demonstrate how to check the ID number for a software product and define terms, freeware, shareware, and end-user license agreement. Mr. Kaliando spent five years building a healthcare system software. Last year, he decided to enter into an innovation competition. During his presentations, he shared some copies of the software with the judges. Unfortunately, after a month, he discovered that someone else had registered his software with the National Patents Authorities and was selling it under a different name. He reported the case to the police and later took it to the courts of law. Unfortunately, he lost the case and the other person was granted the ownership of the software. Why do you think Mr. Kalyandu, the right owner of the software, lost the case in the courts of law? In this lesson, we'll discuss copyright issues in as far as computer software is concerned. We'll attempt to define such terms as software end user license agreement, shareware, and freeware. Let's start by defining the term copyright. Copyright refers to legal rights of the owner of intellectual property. In simpler terms, copyright is right to copy. This means that the original creators of products and anyone they give authority to are the only ones with the right to reproduce the work. It is for this reason that it is advisable to register any created software or program before making it public. Most computer software come with product identification numbers. This means that if you buy a computer software and you want to access all its functions, you need to activate it by entering the product ID number during installation. After entering the product ID number, the producers of the software will send an installation ID number, which will activate the software. Note that the installation ID number identifies the computer on which the software is installed. It is for this reason that a single license software can't be installed on multiple computers. At this moment, let's discuss a little bit more about freeware, shareware, and the end user agreement. A freeware is a software that is distributed at no monetary cost to the end user. In other words, it is a copyrighted software, application, or program 
that may be freely downloaded, installed, used, and shared. Here are some of the rules that you need to know about freeware. A. The copyright owner specifies the terms under which the software is used and distributed. B. The copyright owner retains all rights to the software. C. The owner of the software doesn't charge any fee for the software. And D. The user must always abide by the conditions set by the software owner. Some examples of freeware are Google Chrome, Adobe Reader, and Mozilla Firefox. Apart from freeware, there are also shareware versions of software. These are software that are distributed freely for a specific period of time. For instance, three months. This is done to let the users try the software out. After the trial expires and the user wants to continue using the software, the user will be required to pay for the software. Having discussed freeware and shareware versions of software, let's now look at the End User License Agreement, EULA. The End User License Agreement is simply the agreement that describes conditions that pertains to what should be done if the software is resold, how many backups of the software should be made, and how many times the software should be installed on computer systems. As we conclude the lesson, it is imperative that we discuss the open source and proprietary software. An open source software is a computer software that is released under a license in which the copyright holder grants users the right to use, study, change, and distribute the software and its source code to anyone and for any purpose. Open software may be developed in a collaborative public manner. The best examples of open source software are Mozilla Firefox, Linux operating system, and Python programming software. Note that there are no restrictions from the copyright holder on this type of software. In most cases, this type of software is available on the internet and can be downloaded at any given time by the user. To shed more light on copyright, let's also look at the proprietary, non-free or closed source software. This is a type of computer software for which the publisher or creator reserves some rights from licenses to use, modify, share modifications or share the software. In other words, it is the opposite of open source or free software. Some examples of proprietary software are Microsoft Office, Microsoft Windows, Adobe Photoshop, and Mac OS.
summary. In this lesson, you learned that there are different types of software licenses. You also learned that a freeware is a software that is distributed for free to the end user and that a shareware is a software that is distributed for free on a trial basis for a specific time. Further, you learned that the end user license agreement is a legal contract entered into between a software developer or vendor and the user of the software. It outlines how the software should be used, redistributed, and how many times it should be installed on computer systems. Lastly, you learned that some examples of open source software are Linux OS, Mozilla Firefox, and Python programming software, while Microsoft Office, Adobe Photoshop, and Mac OS are proprietary software. Revision exercise. A. Define the following terms. Freeware, shareware, end user license agreement. B. Explain the importance of product ID and copyright. C. Give three examples of each of the following. Proprietary software, open source software.